Bigfoot from 2012 was produced by The Asylum. They're probably best known for Sharknado and their sequels. They make a lot of crap, and Bigfoot is no exception. The movie opens showing different animals and their spot on the food chain. Of course, man is no longer on top. Bigfoot attacks the guy, and we get a long, good look at the monster. There's no hiding it. It looks awful. It's a CGI crap fest, but at least they're getting that out of the way right now. Expectations are real low, and we can just watch this movie. The local radio DJ, Harley, is putting on a big 80s concert and promising that all the greats will be there. In order to have the room for all the thousands of fans that will be coming to town, he needs to clear the field and knock down acres of trees. This is where Simon comes in. Simon is the leader of a group that wants to protect the forest and its animals. Simon tries to stop Harley, but things are already set in motion, and there's nothing he can do. Some lumberjacks are in the woods, and Bigfoot attacks, and he is huge! Definitely one of the largest Bigfoots I've ever seen. He's able to pick some people up and eat them, and throw heavy machinery around like it's nothing. They show Harley the footprints, and he thinks it's a joke. Not sure how he accounts for all the bodies and equipment thrown around, but anyway, he wants them to continue with the concert. <laughs> the only way Simon agrees to allowing this concert is if he's allowed to perform. So, he's up first. And everyone hates him. They boo him off the stage, and the star of the show comes out. It's Alice Cooper! It's time to run! Bigfoot attacks the venue. Oh man, I feel bad for the guy in that porta potty. He kicks Cooper off the stage, literally, and everyone is running around as Bigfoot kills as many people as he can. Days later, the sheriff has called in the National Guard, and the town prepares for the next Bigfoot attack. Most want to hunt and kill the creature, but some rally for it. They want to capture it with tranquilizers and take it to a sanctuary. Harley calls in some big game hunters to help him kill the beast. It's not long before they find him. They shoot at him, and of course it does nothing, and Bigfoot takes two of them out. Now it's Simon's turn. He's out in the woods with the police, and they find Bigfoot's cave. He comes home, and this is Simon's chance. He fires at him, but nothing happens. The tranquilizers are all gone, stolen by Harley. He wants the beast. He doesn't care if he has to kill it or capture it. He wants to make money off of it. The next day, Bigfoot comes into town for some fresh meat. Some hunters shoot at him, and it seems like it might actually work this time. Bigfoot retreats. He's trying to get back to his cave, but the National Guard is there to stop him. They're able to do some damage, but in the end, he gets away. Later, Simon sneaks past the guards into Bigfoot's cave, again to humanely capture the creature. Harley also sneaks in to kill it. Bigfoot wakes up and they all run out, scaring the trigger-happy guards, and they kill the hunter. Bigfoot comes out and he kills Simon's girlfriend. Simon's pretty upset over losing his friend. Harley, not so much. Sorry, dude. Bigfoot runs to Mount Rushmore, uh, that's where this whole movie takes place by the way, and starts to climb George Washington. Simon is already up there, and he shoots a tranquilizer into the beast, but then Harley shows up and he starts shooting bullets at it. Unbeknownst to them, the military has already been authorized to use any means necessary to kill Bigfoot. The guys fight on top of Lincoln, Harley falls over the edge, but he's hanging on. Simon tries to help him. He reaches out for Bigfoot's hand, and it looks like he might just save them. But then the rocket explodes, and they all fall down the mountain. One year later, the mayor reveals a memorial dedicated to Simon and Harley. A dumb ending to another dumb Bigfoot movie. 
I will say, at least this movie goes on at a good pace. I was thinking that the concert was going to be the big grand finale, but no, that happened in like the first 25 minutes. Just as it starts to get a bit boring, Bigfoot comes in for a kill and spices things up a bit. I've already mentioned how dumb Bigfoot looks, and yeah, he looks pretty bad, but I do like how big they made him. But then that begs the question, how does he sustain himself? A monster that big would need to eat a lot of meat every day. But maybe it's best to not take this movie too seriously and not think about it too hard. They set out to make a B-movie about Bigfoot, and they succeeded. But I don't really recommend this film, unless you're into the other movies by the Asylum. I give Bigfoot one and a half porta potty kills out of four. That animal belongs in a reserve, away from people like you who want to turn him into a freak show. Your breath stinks.